Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to learn today. So we're going to go about doing these questions in three steps always. The first step is to review the stuff we need to know. If you don't know how to long divide numbers, please check out the first video and the next two videos are just on multiplying numbers in general and because the first five questions of the test don't allow the use of a calculator, therefore we need to know how to divide, add, subtract, and multiply by hand. We need to go back in time and learn how to do those things again. We can move on to step two and do the work. I called the company do the work because math is really about doing practice problems and step two is one of the most important ones but step three is what helps understanding and building intuition. So if we start with doing the work, the first step to long division is to get rid of these decimal places. So we have 17.86 over 0 0.19. That's the same thing as writing 17.86 divided by 0 0.19. And notice that I can multiply this fraction by 1. And note that 1 100 divided by 100 is 1 and that whenever we have a times 1 that's just equal to a so anything times 1 is just itself that's why we're allowed to multiply stuff by 1 and in general we're allowed to add 0 because a plus 0 is a as well so when we do this the reason I do this is when we multiply by 100 you can shift the comma to to the right and we get rid of the decimal as the divisor. That's really what we're trying to do. So what we would get is 1786 or 1786 divided by 19. And if we long divide this thing, we have 1786 divided by 19. And we ask, does 19 fit in 1? Nope. So we put a 0. Does 19 fit in 17? Nope. So we put another 0. And then does 19 fit in 178? OK, so let's do our calculations on this side. And we know that 20 times 9 would be, or 19 times 10. Let, maybe let's start with that. So 19 times 10 is 1, 190. And therefore, if we do 19 times 9 and we multiply these things we would get 9 times 9 which is 81 and then 9 times 10 which is 90 so then you add those two numbers and you would get 171 that's how you do multiplication and that's the second video in step one so if I multiply 19 times 9 it fits 9 times in 178, so then I can do 171, because that's 19 times 9. And then we subtract. Maybe I'll use another color for this one. So subtract. Super important, it's always subtraction. And 178 minus 171 is just 7. You can do 8 minus 1 is 7. 7, this is 0. And then 1 minus 1 is 0, so we get 7. And then we drop down the 6, that's just how we do long division. I won't go too much into it. And then we ask how many times does 19 fit in 76? And the answer is 4. You can try to think that 20 times 4 is equal to 80. That, that's how I approximate these things. And you can do, I can prove it to you here that 19 times Four, so 4 times 9 is 36, and then you add 4 times 10, which is 40, and then 40 plus 36, 6 plus 0 is 6, 7, uh, 3 plus 4 is 7, therefore we have that it's 76, and so we write it fits 4 times, and then 4 times 19, that's 76, 76 minus 76 is 0, and therefore that is a remainder zero and just so we go back we did nine times 
19 and 4 times 19. And therefore, we can say that 94 times 19, 94 times 19 is equal to 1786. And if we go back to our original question, that means that 17.86 divided by, or maybe I'll write it like this, divided by 0 0.19 is the same thing as 1786 divided by 19, which is simply 94. Therefore, we can say that our answer is C. Now, let's try to build some intuition to make us understand this question better and try to minimize the need to memorize these things. One thing I like to teach people is to get good at educated guesses. What I mean by that is that often and enough, you can remove some of the choices and improve your odds of getting the right answer just by guessing. Okay, so let's try to see what I mean by that. So if we take 17.86 divided by 0 0.19, what we mean by that is how many times does 19 fit in 86? So maybe I will type actually type this out. So how many times does 0 0.19 fit in 17.86. That's what we're asked here. It might not seem like it, but that is what we're asked. So if I go back, I can think that, okay, 0 0.19 is approximately 0 0.20, and 0 0.20 is exactly 1 fifth, right? And 1 fifth, that is, like, let's say we have a chocolate bar, and we draw four lines. Weirdly enough, when you draw four lines, you have five pieces. And so that means this is one fifth, this is the second fifth, this is the third fifth, this is the fourth fifth, and this is the fifth fifth. So in each unit, so you have five fifths for one unit. And note that we have 17.86 units. So if we have roughly, let's say roughly 18 units with five fifths each, then that means it's 18 times five. And if we do this multiplication, we have eight times five, which is 40, I believe. And then we add five times 10, which is 50. And we know zero plus zero is zero. And then four times five is nine. Therefore, 18 times five is 90. We know that nine, 0 0.19 fits approximately 90 times. So fits approximately 90 times. Therefore, we can, if we go back to the multiple choice, we know that it's not the first two. And if we had to guess, 94 is closer to 81.4. And you could try to look at the decimals because it's not exactly, right? Like we rounded 0 0.19 and we rounded 17.86 to, to 18. So if we had to guess, I would probably guess 94 because it's closer here. But it's between those two. And right there, it becomes a 50% chance of getting the right answer instead of a 25% chance. So even if you forgot how to do long division, you can still attempt this question.